Hi guys. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, today tutafanya kitu different. I'm going to show you around the neighborhood as I do my morning walk. It's very cold here, you see. Eh? Miti zimeangusha matawi zote, as you see. So, yeah, you're going to come with me ni kuonyesha how the neighborhood looks like manyumba mpya venye zinajengwa huku yeah so let's go twende to pig around twende to pig around around ikiwaonyesha vile mtaa iko yeah and as we we chat man it's being a while man ibaridi natumaliza hapa bana. Yeah, it's really cold. But I like going out once in a while ni natembea. And yeah, we try keep fit man. Ama mnasema mwili mwingine tunapata mbinguni. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this time yeah. Season, it's winter all the trees shed their leaves as you see and they are still alive it's not like that his meat is mekufa you know his meat bad was go alive they have only shed the leaves otherwise msimu hiyo ingine ikiingia hizi majani tena zinaamka acha nikwambie it's not easy man to be like a homeowner at apa cause yeah you are responsible for everything kutoa hizo majani zikimwagika kikuja ni wakati wa mvua kanyasi lazima uangalie lazima ukate eh everything inakuja na price yake bana hiyo starehe unapata kuishi kwa nyumba yako is hot is the price you pay kufanya hizo vitu zote yeah so the other thing nyumba za huku zi ujengo haraka sana like ni zambao but you won't believe like they last centuries you know nakuta nyumba ilijengo wa 10 years ago and inakaa mpya and the other thing the, the other thing about ku invest kwa nyumba sio kama home you know huko home u, ukibai land na appreciate same as here but nimerealize in Kenya manyumba ukibai this hiyo land it appreciate but the building itself after a while inapotezanga value depending na the style that was used hiyo nyumba ikitengenezwa and the current style wanatumia so that case is very different hapa hapa hata nyumba ilitengenezwa 1900 bado unakuta hiyo nyumba bado unakuta bado iko chonjo bei ime imeenda mara nne au mara tatu from the time hiyo ya 1900 to now so ni mzee yes the design ni mzee nyumba ni mzee but the price keeps on going up cause the thing is huku unaweza renovate hizo nyumba you know unaweza zichange the design changes na wewe una change kama kitchen walikuwa wanaweka mbao huku chini sasa hivi wameanza kuweka vitu zingine same as you na wewe unaweza change to match the current style in market so kisu sijaelewa like hizi nyumba ni za mbao but hizo mbao ni treated so even after 100 years Imagine hizo mbao zinakuanga zimesimama. Eh? 
So they really do a very good job treating his own bow for them to be able to withstand all the kind of situations, kama weather changes, you know, huku weather ina change, sai kuna balidi, tena kesho kuna jua, you know, ya wao wameweza kumaintain manzi, wameweza kumaintain hiyo ni ibana. And kukikalibia hizi time za winter, kuna, so kila nyumba, iko na heating system, na cooling system. So kama saa hii ni winter nyumba zina heat ndani. So hawezi sikia hiyo baridi. Kukirudi jua sana tena nyumba zinaanza ku cool. So unakaa uko comfortable huko ndani. Ni kama venye like kwa gari unaweza weka AC. So huko kuna hiyo system pia yenye inakuacha ukue. Nene bana. So Nita kuwenye a little bit of this neighborhood hapa. As we go, as we talk. So, hii ni ukiingia kwa neighborhood. See? Naona wenye kanyasi kaa kwa poa. Ya, hii nyasi itakauka because of the winter season and then jirauke after winter. So, we're gonna continue. Ya yeah, kama venye niliwaambia like our goal ni to make sure tumewatembeza America hata kama uko nyumbani ya yeah, unakuja unatembea na mimi hapa una feel ni kama tunatembea kwa street pamoja ya yeah, it's a Sunday morning unaona watu wako either manyumbani hii season watu hawatokangi sana so you can see yeah, hiyo sasa ndiyo part of the housing zenye ziko huku. So, unaona hizo ni zoma nyumba ziko huku. Ni kubwa, hizo ni manyumba kubwa. Yeah, most of hizi nyumba they cost they cost a killing, you know. See at ni cheap. But I would, I would advise somebody like this is one of the best investment unaweza fanya ni kuona mahali pako cuz at the end of the day your investment zenye una make leo ndizo zitakusaidia kesho you know so and you want pia familia yako ikae poa you know nataka watoto wako wakae better than venye wewe uliishi vitu kama hizo but buying a house here is really a big investment yenye later on inakupatia matunda okay so siwezi ambia mtu ati e, usinunue nyumba nimeona watu wengine hapo wana wana blog wanadanganya watu huko ati ukiwa hapa US kununua nyumba sio investment boss kama we huwezi nunua nyumba acha ku discourage wale watu wengine bana Yes, it's there is a lot of responsibility yenye inakuja na kukuwa na nyumba. But why would you tell somebody asibaye nyumba cause that uh, itakuwa utakuwa unakata nyasi. <laughs> mm? Utakuwa unakata nyasi, utakuwa <laughs> those are some of the reasons in zenye nimesikia. Tisno ikikuja ni wewe utakuwa unatoa ya what is wrong with doing all that? Kama ni kwako unafanya, unajua? Ya, yeah, lazima you jump out of those small boys pants na uingie kwa big boys pants man. Hawezi kuwa na unafikiria that way forever, you know. You have to change your thinking. Ya, yeah, wanasemanga if you don't change your thinking then you're not growing man so every time you have to change your thinking and it's good to be flexible okay ipoa unakuwa flexible unaacha kukaa to the same place okay yeah so the, 
I know the process of buying a house sim chezo cause what you do here hapa people get the mortgage you know his nyumba they are half a million dollars most of them so that's a lot of money hiyo pesa si watu wengi wako nayo kwa mikono bana unless we ni Warren Buffett <laughs> all the rest you know yeah si watu wengi wako na hiyo pesa kwa mikono and that's why like wanapeana mortgage the good thing about it is hiyo mortgage yenye unapewa you're given enough time si kama Kenya ati umepewa mortgage alafu unapewa 5 years uko umelipa how are you gonna pay all that money you know half a million dollars <laughs> how are you gonna pay in 5 five years man <laughs> be realistic you know so hapa how they do they give you like let's say 30 years it's a, it's your choice you know unaweza chukua ya 30 years mortgage utakuwa unalipa pole pole for the 30 years ukihit 30 years utakuwa ume maliza so hiyo time yenye unapewa that time you are given kulipa hiyo mortgage in mestrechiwa to a place where uki, uki, ukifanya kazi vizuri you can be able to you can be able to like maneuver you know yeah so inakusaidia na hiyo ndiyo kitu moja I would like like niona Kenya wakifanya like hizo mortgage wapatiane in a good term na good rates hapa isipokuwa ni sahi like the rates have really gone up because of the global economy the rates were very low at some point when tulikuwa na corona the rates were 2% <laughs> so you can imagine na hata ukipewa 2% for 30 years ama 15 years you are not limited that you kipata pesa you can pay the whole amount you know yeah you can pay the whole amount ukitaka or you can decide when to pole pole which is a good idea in some sort of way but sometimes you got to have to do what you got to have to do man yeah tukipata time tumekuwa busy sana tukipata time tutakaa chini <laughs> tutawaelezea like our our journey on how we purchased our home in in three years of living here in the united states yeah the fears we had and how we went about it yeah tutakaa chini na madam and we're gonna walk you through that journey and your maybe it will encourage somebody out there you know yeah because that is our aim our aim is to encourage you guys mjue you can you can own anything you can be anything your five one year can change who you are and what unafikiria yeah unaona hizo manyumba yeah unaona venye kuko quiet it is so quiet man like kila mtu hapa mind his own business eh uko kwa keja hapa si ati nashinda nikigonga gonga kwa kwa nikikuitisha chumvi bana no no is only the old ways hapa hata ukikuja kwa wangu lazima unipigie simu uniulize kama niko you know na ukikuja ukute haujafunguliwa ama or anything haufuezi ilalamika cause at the end of the day lazima u respect kwenye kwa watu you know waweze tukuja ugonge ati unataka tupige story hapo tukae chini <laughs> kuna vitu mingi huko za, za kulipa bana yeah na sita kudanganya ati nikwambie it's cheap you know 
you know, life here is cheap. Usi wai danganyo ni cheap. It even depends on uko wapi, you know, like location yenye unaishi, unaona. So kama leo unaona ni maonyesha, his idea, his neighborhood yetu. I'll show you pia neighborhood zingine as we go, uone, like kuna a place for everybody. Huh? Na venye mi usema, like hakuna mahali utawai bae kupereke hasara one of the best investment sahi ina withstand like as we talk ni that one of houses like the real estate ima withstand mpaka hii global recession yenye ime tokelezea like the what we have right now hata venye muna watu wanateta Kenya it's not easy at hapa Okay, si raisi. Hata hapa, we are still struggling the same. Like, five years ago, ndi kwa nanunuwa maziwa tu bob, sayi utakutani four bob, you know. The inflation imetuchapa. Na, imechapa everybody, not only like, wewe uko Kenya, ni kina mtu all over the world. And, lazima like, Lazima tu tukubali as we work to see what we can do. Yes, I believe gava ina kuanga sometimes ina changia, but as the global economy goes by, iki crash hakuna mtu akopoa unajua na kuna vitu ata president hawezi control. President hawezi control economy peke yake. Yeah, the global economy inafanya akue anaweza kuwa which position, you know. Inamfanya either economy iko poor ama iko poor. Kama iko poor globally, he can do very little. So, tuacha ku complain all the time, tukue reasonable, tufikirie like si kila time tuseme eh Prezo wetu manze, hametuumiza, yes, hametuumiza. We hako na chance ya few years, hanaweza chenjiwa. But not all the brims, tunapiga kwa prezo. Okay? Yeah, so, nitamapereka sasa prezi ya nyumba zinajengwa, mpia. Ndiyo uone, wanyazi ujengwa. Kwa hii na ibahudu mpia, na kujanga unabai proti ni kujengo inajengo it's a new neighborhood already imejengo nyumba mob but you go unabai proti and then unatafuta renda mwenye mwenye kubaliana na yeye una sign agreement na wao unachagua nyumba yenye unataka the design Harafu, from there, muna tafta contractor, muna kuja, muna agree the price ya hiyo nyumba. So kwa hiyo mogi jenye unapewa kama haujajenga, inakuanga na an approved amount. It is called pre-approved amount jenye umepewa. So tuseme umepewa 500k he unaweza jenga nyumba up to that amount so hiyo approved amount ndiyo una tumia kujua what kind of a house utaenda up kujenga and hapo ndipo sasa una tafuta uyo contractor una piga hesabu yenyu and munaanza kujenga so contractor analipo na bank on your behalf but wewe sasa nyumba ikiisha ndiyo utalipa bank through the mortgage yeah the timeline muli agree and the amount na interest rate muli agree and that is how unajenga a new house so hali ya pale hapo ndiyo kuna nyumba ya nyayina jengo 
that's a new house coming up no na already washa anza you see wameanza kuleta vitu kwanza mambao ndizo hizo unaziona contractor ako on site okay so huyu contractor atajenga hiyo nyumba in less than <laughs> three months hii nyumba itakuwa imeisha na utapata mwenyewe ameingia ame nyumba in three months time so unaona venye wanaanzanga kwanza wanajenganga hii ya chini acha ni watafutie press moja ya hii ya chini ya trist imejengwa ndio muone ya, ukiangalia so kama hii nyumba inakaribia hapa iko na ni unfinished so unaweza ona hiyo yenye nilikuwa nakwambia ndio hiyo hiyo wamejenga chini and then naona wamemaliza kujenga chini imeandikwa for sale alafu nyumba itakuja juu so hizo ni plot mpya is for sale so unakamu na buy yenye unataka and then you see hizi ndizo nilikuwa namwambia nanunua alafu unaona zimejengwa huku chini tu so zimebaki huku juu and then hii ndiyo nyumba inajengwa mpya unasikia mafundi wako ndani you see yeah because of the insurance purposes hawezi kubali niingie ndani because ukihatiwa na anything kukijengwa then unaweza wasuo or something so they don't allow people to go inside hiyo yenye nakuonyesha hapo hiyo ni unfinished product ni kumalizia inamaliziwa after so wameijenga tuseme wakimaliza hizo za lining zote wanaijenga inamalizika so hiyo imebakisha tu finishing hiyo unaiona hapo just the finishing hiyo ingine nayo hapo chini ndio inaanza kujengwa na unaona imeshawekwa ya chini imeshawekwa foundation so nyumba za huku zina kuangana basement so lazima kwanza waweke hiyo lining vizuri na ni mob unaona kuna ingine hapa pia inaanza hiyo pia unaona hapo hiyo ni mtu mwingine pia hiyo bado iko for sale haijauzwa kuna ma plot pia ziko empty like unaweza buy plot empty pia kama haijajengwa na ukae nayo kidogo but it is for a certain time period au lazima uijenge kwanza, kwanza kama uko within the city limits yeah so yeah i think but it is meant japa sana and i'm ready niende ni kunyweka supu hivi kachai moto yeah it's really cold yeah i hope you guys will enjoy i took you around umeona neighborhood umeona venye nyumba zinajengwa zikiwa mpya unaona broti maguta maguta ziko so wa Kenya mkituibia sana <laughs> tukijaribu kubai kitu home na mtunyoroshe sana <laughs> we gonna be embarking on kununua hata huku unajua hata huku tunaweza nunua broti maguta maguta so mtu treat vizuri mwacha kutunyorosha yeah and i think that's all ya leo sikuwa na mengi ya kusema but yeah i we really appreciate you guys wenye mna to support tukiwa make videos yeah we really appreciate na muendelee hivyo hivyo na kama uja subscribe don't forget to subscribe turn on that notification bell ndio every time tuna post kitu mpya you will be the first one to be notified yes and until next time see ya